We're just six days away from Father's Day, and there's no denying that any dad will appreciate a good meal on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And Patrick Elston of Gus Franco's Pizza is here to show us a dish that is near and dear to his family. I'm, I'm hearing the sizzle. Yes, and it's yeah, we got good. Uh, we got a pound of sausage sizzling <laughs> away, just some breakfast sausage, your standard stuff. Uh, I try and do. I mean, when we're, when we're at home in the kitchen, where we we have things on stand, we don't want to run out all the time and grab stuff. So we try and do all of our stuff. So this is just regular old basic breakfast sausage that we're yeah. working with here. And uh, so and we'll just get started, yeah, with the um, with the sausage gravy. So we're browning that. And that's what we're that. making. Sausage so we're gravy and sausage biscuits. Sausage gravy and mm. biscuits. We're, and, we're, and we're making drop biscuits. We're not getting fancy. We're not rolling that's stuff great. up. Because in my opinion, Thank even goodness. with people, like, we all have our, our little things that are wrong with us. And those biscuits have these little peaks and valleys that get so extra great. crispy. And, yeah, it, yeah. And it makes it even better. So, so yes, we're, we got the... Uh, the, 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 the sausage nice and brown. We're gonna add a little bit of seasoned salt. We got a half a teaspoon of that. We got Look at you go, Heather, there. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'll right tell on. you, the, the reason you're making this ahead of Father's Day is this is something that your your dad... Yeah, so my dad loved uh, a few things in life. Golf was one of them, his family was another, and sausage, gravy, and biscuits for breakfast was the third. <laughs> and uh, so years back, my wife decided to try to make it at home and invite him over for Father's Day. So it became a, a thing. Every Father's Day, he would come over. We'd all do it. He passed three years ago. We still do it to this day. Oh, my kids help. Sorry. They all look forward to it. So so is this exactly your dad's recipe, or did she put a little this twist was, on so it? So my wife made her own recipe, mm -hmm. and then my dad said it was the best sausage, gravy, and biscuits oh. Ever had, so you know. Well, and and this is something that Frankie loves to make too. Mm -hmm. Like if he's making a special yeah. breakfast, he'll make sausage gravy. So I think I know the next step is to add the flour in. You're gonna add half of it and let that incorporate, and then keep stirring. That's at least how we do it. And then you'll slowly keep adding it as it uh, kind of gets absorbed by that sausage. There, we'll move on to the whole milk. Um, and then we'll be able to add that as well, nice and slow. Okay. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. We're, we're on TV. Okay. Just fire away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> get it all in there. Yeah, get it all in there. Whatever. Well, it's we... going to absorb all that yeah. fat and then help to thicken. You're almost like making a roux from You're, the leftover. Right. So when that milk starts to go in with that, it's going to start to incorporate with that flour and the sausage, and it's going to start to thicken up. So, again, this is about a 12 to 15-minute process, at least in my house, on medium heat. You're going to add a little bit of that milk. You're going to work it in. It's going to thicken. Splash it in. We went with the aprons. There. I know. I'm glad yeah. you brought I, you these in. I always see this on menus at restaurants, and I, yeah. and I never order it. I'm always oh. intimidated oh. by it. Oh, oh my! But it, it looks so good. Well, hopefully after today, you you enjoy ours a little bit, and maybe you start giving it a shot. I think I'm going to fall it's, asleep it's, afterwards. Oh, you will. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's a it's a carb overload. It's really good. But over here, we're going to start the biscuits, uh, which are going to be super simple. It's, oh, I can help you. Oh, yeah, that. all purpose flour. We have two cups of all purpose flour. Mm -hmm. You're going to put in, we have a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. You can just start firing those in there too. Got it. One teaspoon of baking powder, and then we have one teaspoon of salt. Got and it. And then you can whisk Got those it. together real yes. quick. And another thing we do in our house, we don't have buttermilk ever. I don't know how many households in America have buttermilk oh, on you, stock. I know. Nobody no. has it. Yeah. So Nobody here's the trick it. that we do. We use whole milk, and then we put one teaspoon of white vinegar in with it. And oh. you can see how it starts to kind of curdle mm -hmm. a little bit. So you're kind of making your own You're butter. making your own buttermilk at home. You do that about five minutes before you need to add that in. Now, at this point, we're going to switch out the spatula okay, for this one. Uh, yeah, and then you're going to just incorporate that. Again, this can uh -oh, be super sloppy. And you're good. You're good. <laughs> Again, we're doing drop biscuits, so we're, you're going to incorporate that as soon as it comes together, we're gonna take that and we're gonna uh, just kind of. Put some muscle yeah, you got it, Mikey. Mikey. <laughs> you got it. I'm gonna grab a spoon here real quick. I think there's some around. And and all it, all you're really doing is just grabbing that spoon and just mm -hmm. plopping them right down on. That's it. The, yeah, you're gonna sheet. scoop out a. Go ahead and grab a, a chunk out of there, Mike. You were gonna. Just actually, yeah, you're down. good. I'm um, gonna, was it just me? Did you like to eat like dough when you were a kid? I, <laughs> <laughs> I, like I would just. Eat this. This is what that's this actually, is reminding that's me That's actually of. not healthy, Mikey. You got to be not, careful oh there. No. You don't want to eat uncooked Maybe that's flour. What's it's, wrong uh, with yeah, me. you can get salmonella and stuff uh, like that. Yeah. There's a health tip from your <laughs> yeah. your friendly friend at uh, Gus Franco's Pizza here. Um, I think that you have some biscuits that are coming out of the oven, so God we're going to serve that right. up. Oh. But in the meantime, I'm going to try. You have your. Is it your hot dad pizza? That's the hot dad. Yep. Just that. be on Beautiful. camera now. Mm -hmm. Just gonna try the hot dad pizza <laughs> by myself over here. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love the name, hot dad pizza. Thank you. It has hot soap prosciutto and Mike's hot honey on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you put those together, it's a it's a nice little touch. I'm gonna sneak behind Very you here. Very good. 
get you guys some plates. Oh, plates. Some... These biscuits look amazing. Yeah, right on. And and I hear that it's Heather's biscuit phase of her life as well. I, so I was is. really excited. Mm-hmm. I was really excited. And I know excited. that we're running out of time. Yeah, but let's, yeah, let's, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. Here you go. Down. Bite so, in here. Here's what we do in my house. You got to split the biscuit a little bit. You got to kind of right. open it oh, up a little why bit. Why are you going to waste all that time making them perfect and pretty when you're That's just right. going to crush that biscuit? That's right. You're just going to plop that right on. That's right. right. Get in there. Yeah, there. absolutely. I eat all them right. all the time. All right. Thanks so much. We're going to bite into this in just oh, a oh. second. But oh, you're are you <laughs> four? Oh, four. four. Oh, I was just going to go straight in there. It's our first time. It's our first time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> Gus Franco's Pizza is located mm. along Leechburg Road in Lower Borough. We're going to have more information about this pizza shop on our website, kdka.com/talkpittsburgh. Now.